guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov and today I will show you how you can use um, the clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool is very helpful with all your retouching and repair uh, workflow. The clone stamp tool uh, paint one part of your image over another part of your image or over another um, document which uh, has the same uh, color mode. Uh, let me zoom in my uh, first document I would like to work with and I will create an empty layer. Uh, you can use a uh, work on the uh, same background layer or you can duplicate the background layer. But if you will duplicate your background layer, you will increase the size of your image. So uh, I prefer to use an empty layer and an empty layer has an extra benefit and I will show you later on. So um, my uh, clone stamp tool. Uh, I use uh, current and below from the drop down menu and I have a um, aligned uh, um, box empty. Um, why I use uh, current and below? Just because I have two layers, one my original background layer and another my empty layer. Uh, I would like to sample uh, pixels from um, uh, the layer below my uh, empty layer. If I will use a current layer, which is empty layer, I have no pixels to choose from, to clone from. If I will use all layers, I will um, sample pixels uh, out uh, of uh, all layers below or above my uh, empty layer. So I will use uh, current in below for now. And again, I would like to point that my uh, aligned checkbox uh, box is unchecked. Now um, I will use a clone stamp tool and I will sample um, pixels out of her flower. And I would like to paint this a flower. I will. I would like to clone this flower to this part of her hair. So click and paint. Now I will release my mouse and after that I would like to continue working on my flower. As you can see, Photoshop starts paint this flower again. Now I will check in my aligned box. I will sample um, pixels out of the same uh, flower and I will start paint this flower over his hair. Now I will release my mouse and I will continue paint this flower. As you can see, Photoshop continues paint a uh, same flower, same flower. You can use, um, by the way, any brush um, with your clone stamp, any size of your brush. It depends on your preference, it depends on your image. Uh, now you can see that I have ugly black uh, uh, area. Uh, I don't want this area. Because I work on empty layer, I will add a uh, layer mask. I will use my um, simple brush tool with black color. I will increase size and I will paint out this part of her flower. Just like that. And because I was using um, empty layer, I can do anything I want to. I can use a free transform tool, I can rotate, I can resize, I can move uh, my flower to anywhere I want to. And now I will show you another example. Um, I have, uh, I would like to remove uh, this bird out of my image. So I will create an empty layer, same clone stamp tool, same um, Align checked in and current and below. I will sample a pixel next to um, this bird and I will paint this bird out just like that. And another example um, now I would like to clone this bird to another uh, my document. So, same um, the clone stamp tool, same option. I will sample. Uh, pixels out of this bird. I will open my uh, flower girl 
and I will paint it out just like that just because um, uh, those two images have different uh, color mode you can see that I, uh, we have ugly ugly um, area around my board what I can do I can change the blending mode Or I can uh, do the uh, same what I did with her flower. I can um, use my um, uh, brush, simple brush tool with black color. And using clear mask, I will paint out. Let me increase the size of my brush. I will paint out ugly area around uh, my bird. You can do the better job. I just... Uh, don't want to keep you here longer than uh, it's supposed to be so very quick if you paint out paint it out more than you wanted simply switch color of your brush from black to white and paint back in so it depends of um, your image so like that um right now i will um delete my empty layer and i will show you um extra tip uh extra very helpful tips so we have opened a clone uh, source panel with our um clone stamp i will add an um, empty layer let me zoom in my image and what i will do i will choose her flower i will sample a pixel out of her flower and i will paint this flower example now I will click on another clone stamp and I will sample a, a pixel out of her hair and I will paint her in. Now I will uh, choose uh, another clone stamp and I will um, clone a pixel out of her eye and I will paint her eye. If I will uh, click on my first clone stamp tool I can continue working on her flower if I will click on my second clone stamp tool I will continue working on her um, hair if I will click on my third clone stamp tool I will continue working on her eye so um, uh, those five are uh, clone uh, sources helping you um, to be more productive to making your workflow faster and um, easier. Thank you guys, and I will see you later. Bye.